Spring Lafe, Simply Caro. Okay, let's see what we get for Aquarius today. Let's see what we get from my fellow Aquarians today. What do you need to know? Let's see. I had a terrible night last night. Yes. So, that was no good. My baby girl, she's having some issues. So, we had to go to the doctor this morning. Okay. Aquarius, Aquarius, for Aquarius, for my fellow Aquarians, what do they need to know today? Spirit, what's the message for today? Okay, ooh, look at that, Wheel of Fortune. Okay, what this feels like, see here, forward movement, huh? Oh my goodness, this is awesome. Somebody's seeing themselves. They're holding themselves up highly in high regards. It's like you've done the work and you see the universe, will of fortune, things are changing. It's like you're, you know, it's all being seen and um keeping the faith oh yes that's that's major importance you've come away from a place where you felt alone where you felt like you did not have anyone with you where you felt um like everyone left you behind you come away from that beautifully that is no more see you have moved away from that energy. And that is awesome. That is what's ushering you forward towards something new. What, what is, okay, what is Aquarius going towards? Or, what's, whoop, looky there, looky there. Oh my goodness, look. People, look. That's knowing your worth and value. That's having it all together. That's beautiful. You're standing strong. You see, you didn't just get the Empress. You got the Empress in the Minor Arcana as well. My goodness, that is awesome. That is amazing. You have learned so much and the universe sees it. It's like it's being seen. It's like, oh my goodness. You got no wonder you got Wheel of Fortune here. You have really brought yourself away from an energy of feeling lack. Oh my goodness. Aquarius. Aquarius. For Aquarius. That's beautiful. So you've, you've got so much growing and so much growth going on here. That's amazing. See, you've come away. Okay. Okay, we'll get to that. Whoops. Yeah. Okay. You are dealing with right here. This right here is showing me that you were dealing with some someone in your life where there was no balance between the two. Um, this person I feel like was taking on the Queen of, of Cups energy. And it's like though they had a love to offer it's like they were holding back. Um, it feels like that you you had to feel this way a lot. You know, like you were just um, standing. But you've come away from that. See, you've pulled away your energy away from this person. That, that feels like that was. That doesn't feel like that is. That feels like that was. Okay, tell me now. For Aquarius now. Okay. For Aquarius now, now, well, you know your worth and your value. It's like you're moving forward. You're going forward. See, it's like you have moved forward towards being, I mean, not just, see, that's all the queens rolled up into one. That's beautiful. Look, it's here on the bottom. 
See, you've got a new beginning. It's coming. You've asked for this. You've asked for this. You've had to walk away from this broken heart that you've had. Oh my goodness. See, not just a strong new beginning. But also stability and, and abundance in a new beginning. Ten of Pentacles. You've been putting in the work. Not only on your stability, but on yourself. You know, it's like... Um, See, this card is here because it feels like you've guarded yourself from what you had to guard yourself from. I feel like for some of you it was this person. And not only this person, but I feel like players. And I feel like uh, really having, you know, I don't feel like this was this is bad. I feel like this was really just taking care of yourself. I'm going to be honest. Taking care of oneself. Seeing what you need to see. See here? It's here. You know, with the, the hangman... It, it, it was taking the looks where you needed to take the looks. Seeing what you needed to see. Standing in your own truth and doing what you needed to do. Seeing the truth in others. Yeah, yeah. See, it's right here. Seeing the truth in others. Seeing the truth in yourself. You know, it's about really seeing everything. And taking a look back as well. And, and seeing where... Not only the other person was wrong, but where you were wrong. And taking, taking, um, you know, it's like, you know, not blaming, but yet knowing where you were accountable and where they were accountable. And it's like uh, really owning that. And that's what I feel like has moved you forward on manifesting this beautiful new beginning. It, you know, you moved away from this feeling of a broken heart and players. And it feels like for some of you, a relationship, see here, a relationship that at one point in time, you felt was very happy, but it, it became toxic. You know, and it was like, it ended. I mean, it, it ended. You know, your ten of cups at that point Something happened. Something was toxic. You know, for some of you, it seemed happy and it, it just, you know, it wasn't. It's like it was for a while and it ended. You know, I myself can relate to that. And I know many of you probably can. You know, and, but this card is here because it's like you're finally seeing. See, just like right here. You're doing in the work, you're putting in the work, but you're also putting in the effort, but you're also seeing yourself, putting the work into yourself as well, and to your family. You see what I'm saying? Um, you know, and that may just be you, because a lot of you, I feel like you lost that person because th there was toxicity. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't meant. A lot of you, it was a karmic, karmic relationship, you know, and it's, and it's like you finally got the message that this wasn't for you. This was not the one for you. Um, you know, it's like being guided and finally getting that message. Whether you had karma that you had to learn lessons from and deal with. Or whether this person has, you know, they may be dealing with some karma now. But the, the point is, you've seen that, you know, this was not... See, I'm drawn to the fish. It's like, this was not, it wasn't me. It wasn't for you. And you're seeing that. You're seeing it. And you know, the hard, the hard thing is, is that you had to go through this, this queen of swords. You had to go through that moment. You see, you, you want this. You want this wish come true. You want the perfect one for you with the lovers. I feel like you want... You know, that soul connection. And you had to go through all of these hard lessons to make it to that point. This, it's absolutely beautiful, just to be honest with you. Okay, let's take one of these. I haven't taken one of these in a while. Yep. May I have one for Aquarius, please, Spirit? May I have the one? Not more. I would like one.
So your luck's changing. Fortune is on your side. Things are looking different. Things, it's like it's your time. The time is here. It's on the bottom. It's your time. And I feel like that, I'll be honest with you, I feel like you fought the fight with the fight. You know, um, the through, you know, you have went through it. You have went through it. But you're shining your light. So you did not let the sorrow or anything keep you down. You went and kept going. And it's your time. It's like your time is here. Oh my goodness, this is absolutely beautiful. This is your time. You know, it's like um, something's about to happen for you. You've been manifesting this. What have you been manifesting? And this is going to be different for different people. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you. I had a comment, you know, and I would like to explain this, you know, where uh, someone was talking about how one reading, you know, was telling them uh, one thing and then another reading telling them another thing. Well, then both, you know, you you have to take away what's meant for you. These are not personal readings. These are for the collective. So if, if one reading, you know, if a part is for you that says, okay, someone's coming back into your life and things are looking good. And then you watch the next reading and it's like, oh my goodness, they're not for you. Well, then, you know, seriously, that means both of those, something's not for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, you have to, and if you, you know, if you haven't awakened to your intuition, maybe you need to do that because, you know, a lot of times readings, that's how you know if they're for you is you feel it, you know, or you'll feel a little portion of a reading. You, you may not even feel the whole reading. You know, like someone watching this reading here, they may feel like just a little portion of it's for them and they'd be like, you know. But if you try to fit the rest of that reading into your life and it's not for you, it's just going to confuse you. So you need to feel what what part of a reading is for you. If the whole reading's for you, well then if that next reading is contradicting, feel into it. Is it for you? Do you feel it? Now, I'm going to tell you, readings are timeless. My readings are timeless. So, you know, you may feel one reading one day, and then, you know, a year later, months later, that other reading may be for you. I mean, I just have to tell you, that's the way, you know, it can work. But it doesn't have to. So, yeah, I just, I, I hope that I got that cleared up. I hope. But um, thank you so much for being with me. Uh, much like and love to all of you. If you like the content that I create, give it a thumbs up. Please do subscribe. Um, share out the readings. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. And you know, I have found that I have messages, or not messages, it's comments, are showing up now that were done a year ago that I never seen. So I'm not sure what happened on there. <laughs> not sure. I'm trying to go back through to that time so if you see where you commented a year ago and I'm just now seeing it I'm so sorry I'm not sure what happened there I have no clue actually but uh, yeah till next time bye